So guys, welcome back to another video and in this video, we are going to learn what are inline and block elements. So, <coughs> my neck is like, it is very bad condition, it is in very bad condition, so what I will do is use the title to a tutorial 5 and now, <coughs> if I write p tag, p tag is basically used to write a paragraph. I will go live first, and here, <coughs> uh, using p tag, I will write this is the paragraph. It is used to write simple paragraph. So don't take it too seriously that what is p this kind of thing. So. If I write another P below this P, and if I write this is a this is another paragraph. So, <coughs> so as you can see that uh, this has come in another line, and this is because this P tag, basically pa paragraph tag, it is a block element block element takes the whole space or basically width so any other element that will come outside the p tag <coughs> it will take space below the p tag so if i change it oh i misclicked it so if i change it to Span and here span <coughs> and here also span and here also span. So as you can see that these two lines have come in one line. <coughs> this is because that. Uh, Span is an inline element. Inline element uh, takes the space that is uh, required. So, if this much space is required to display the text, then it will take this much width only and it will allow other elements to uh, be able to uh, come in one line. So, this is what span. Span, uh, inline and block elements are now. I will tell you what IMG tag. So, <coughs> if I write IMG in emit abbreviation, <coughs> oh, sorry, if I write IMG in uh, using so as you can see, there are two options source and alt. I will delete this alt because this alt has uh, no use, kind of. So, source is the source of that image. So, if I bring uh, shutterstock, um, and shutterstock, and or uh, not shutter, shutterstock, I will use pixels. <coughs> HTML5 logo. Oh, no. This is not coming. So I will take, I will just type HTML and I will upload this image. <coughs> and as you can see, this has come. I will drag it here. Now <coughs> I will type. Name of the image in the store. Now, uh, I typed the name and it is uh, showing recommendation. I will click on here. And uh, if you will see here, okay, this is quite large image. This is really large image. Okay, so uh, to reduce the size of this image, what I will do is I will put inside the IMG tag 
and I will type width equals to whatever you want. I will keep it 400 px and height I will keep it the same for 400 px. Um, so if you will see that this size of the image is reduced. So I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. So uh, we will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.